Well, I would like to begin my story today by what most would assume is the end, success. I believe that success can kill a company. The classic definition of success assumes that we have reached the highest of heights and that therefore what we have accomplished must be protected. That is a mindset that leads us to a very dangerous place that I call the status quo. The status quo is, in fact, the biggest threat to our companies, to our cultures, to our personal growth, because it is a familiar friend who is hard to resist and even harder to say goodbye to. So I want to share with you some of the symptoms that you see in an organization that is under the spell of the status quo. Comfortable bureaucracy settles in. You accept that it takes a long time to do anything. Your customers warn you that things are changing, but they continue to buy for the time being. And a form of institutional arrogance sets in, where how we do things takes over, becomes more important than curiosity and invention. And while these are signs of the status quo in an organization, I believe that there is one fundamental quality that holds any of us apart from succumbing to the status quo. It's a quality that no money can buy. You either have it or you don't. And that quality is the drive to reimagine. It's the belief that your first success cannot be your last. It's the courage to challenge our own formula for success because we know it can be done better. And so I am here today to tell you the story of F5's rejection of the status quo, a feat we have undertaken more than once in our history and what it took for us to reimagine again. Now, for F5, over the last 10 years, the status quo looked like this. It was a company famous for its load balancers, but also obsessed with a hardware business model. It was also offering application security and delivery services to the top mission-critical workloads in a data center but leaving tens of millions of other workloads unattended. It was a loyal base of NetOps users inside 25,000 enterprise customers, but very little to offer to the growing DevOps communities inside the same organizations. Now, as they say, what got us here won't get us there. At F5, we have a mission. We want to provide enterprise-grade application services for every app anywhere. And the only way to get there is through the cloud. Now, as it does for you, the cloud requires a continuous transformation of our business. For F5, that meant significant, important, but painful decisions. We had to completely redefine our customer personas, who we aim to serve and how. We had to make significant shift in where and how we invest our resources and relook at the behaviors we promote in our own organization. And we also had to create startups, carve out startups from within F5 with a very clear new charter to disrupt the status quo. The result of this is an F5 that is now offering easy-to-consume, friction-free 
application services, consistent application security for every workload across every environment, and a company that is finally bridging the divide between NetOps and DevOps. By joining forces with Nginx, the leading open source application delivery platform, we can now offer enough effective controls to satisfy the CIO, but also enough freedom to innovate for application developers. And it should be no surprise that for a company committed to disrupting its own status quo, F5 chose AWS. We built our cloud services platform leveraging the breadth and depth of AWS infrastructure services. We do storage and compute, of course, but also caching and identity, database, and even serverless. We worked with the AWS SaaS factory team to transform our own development process and build and deliver new services 50% faster. We also leveraged the AWS marketplace. It allowed us to build digital procurement on a global basis to companies ranging from startups to Fortune 500 to our own channel partners 12 months faster. I'll say that again, 12 months faster than we would have on our own. And leveraging the, the built-in metering features and digital commerce enabled by the AWS marketplace, millions of F5 customers can now try and subscribe to F5 services in minutes. The result of this work is the next critical step in our reinvention, F5 cloud services. I am pleased to announce that we are launching today on AWS F5 cloud services. F5 cloud services is a family of cloud-native SaaS solutions designed for enhanced application delivery, security, and insight. And it's immediately available for our customers and through our channel partners on the AWS marketplace. It starts with our DNS cloud service and a preview of our global server load balancing service available for use in AWS or in hybrid cloud environments. And later this spring, we will be delivering even more F5 enterprise grade SaaS capabilities, including security services designed to protect applications from both existing threats and emerging threats. Thank you. Thank you. There must be somebody from F5 in the room here. <laughs> the best part about all this, though, is we are just getting started. I don't believe we find an end point in success. The spirit of the summit, each of us is asked to consider what can we do differently? And I know this inspection can be painful, but I can also share with you what it feels like when you have rejected the status quo. You are restless for more. The risk-taking feels less risky. And new ideas are courageously surfaced every day. I know that is what it feels like at F5 now, and the opportunity for all of us here today to invent, to grow, and to break away from the status quo. Thank you.